I would say establishment media do not like to hear what Mr. Hirsch has to say. They did not like it when he revealed the massacre at My Lai in Vietnam. They didn't like many of his other stories, uh, and they turned out to be true. Sometimes you have to wait a while. But meanwhile, you look at the credibility of that reporter against the credibility of those who criticize him. And on this case, Cy Hirsch wins hands down. This person has a wealth of detail, a wealth of knowledge, and uh, just an incredible uh, entree into exactly how this operation was conducted, uh, that the substance of it is entirely credible. Well, I worked in the intelligence community for almost 30 years, uh, so it's a little embarrassing for me to, to say that the public relations people, uh, the spokes persons for the CIA do not have a very good record for credibility. What did those Western journalists do when someone leaked the transcript of that debriefing? They went to the CIA spokesperson. Here's the debriefing. It says there aren't. They were destroyed. And the CIA spokesperson said, that's untrue. That's bogus. Don't be misled. And those Western journalists said, oh, boy. <laughs> thanks for telling us because we were going to report all that. Almost a month before the attack on Iraq, the press suppressed the story. And so most Americans believed, and I dare say most still believe, that there were weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. And they don't know that they were lied to. That's a terrible lesson. But that could be what's happening right now as well with respect to Seymour Hersh's story.